Sailing On, which is a line from the poem The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Coleridge. My work is graphite on watercolour paper. I was tossing up with using watercolours to begin with, but then decided just to stick with graphite. The concept behind my work is a combination of a lot of the things that I've done before. To begin with, um, I started off being the really horse crazy girl and I really wanted to draw a whole bunch of different horses in different strides, walking, trotting, cantering, galloping um, to sort of base off my bridges work. But when I brought that to the teacher at the um, end of term four, she's like, mm, you could do a little bit better and suggested that I try and do a lot of things that I've done before. So that's how sort of the ideas the different ideas and the different sections of the work came together. So even though it's meant to be read left to right, um, the ideas sort of came right to left. Um, I really wanted to do, I really still wanted to get a horse in there, so I knew I had to put that in somewhere. But the boat at the very end of the work, which is from The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Coleridge, Originally, that was going to be um, the two boats in the whirlpool from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, as time went along, I knew I wouldn't be able to fit that in. Just before that, Hokusai's Wave. I really enjoyed appropriating his work in year eight because I included boats in it at the time. And then I could sort of incorporate the white horses galloping over the wave and get that large horse head in before that. As for the um, the head and the hair. That came from in year 10 when um, we studied Laith McGregor, an Australian artist um, who was really interested in beards and the imaginative forms that can come from that. So I was really happy that I could use that as the flow of movement between my hair and the wave. I had no idea what I was going to do to incorporate like my face because I really didn't want to do a face. I came across Goya's work, um, The Sleep of Reason Produces Monsters, um, which I'd done in drama and then again in theory in year 11. So to come across his work again and it, for it to fit so perfectly um, with the hair, providing a, a, goat, a, a scapegoat to get um, away from drawing my face and then I could um, start the work in a darker scheme. So I had this for the lightness of the ghost ship but I could start with a dark thing, which sort of led to my concept of where darkness travels to lightness tonally, which links to when you fall asleep at night from the sleep of reason, you go to sleep and you, all you can see is darkness. But then when you wake of a morning, you see the sunlight and that sort of, that gradual tone change between my work explains that. Best piece of advice I could give would be listen to your teachers and then get them to work with you as much as possible because they will be your lifeline for the entire HSC. Um, use them as much as you can, they're a great resource. 